Hi everyone, I received this radio kit from Bangor. It's about now one year before the outbreak of COVID-19. Uh, now that the, the, the winter is, is, is close to us, it's coming closer, which is a time for camping outside, I am going to need it so much, especially it is small in size and sleek. I decided to build the radio even smaller than this, but now this is suitable now. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, build it. Then we will learn about the tips when we come to building devices. Uh, I hope it will not take so much time because I'm already late in this lab. So the first thing we're going to do is to find a container to put and open the back. So let's put all the components in this container. Okay. First off, we have the instruction manual and antenna. Okay, speaker is too small and nice. Actually, it is fitting me when I go outside for camping, so definitely I'm going to use it. It has two bands, FM and EM. Okay. And those are the components, electronic components. All right, so it's better to use the scissor and instead of compressing on the components, if there is anything fragile or something, there's no need to bend anything, no need to damage anything. Just use the easiest way. Okay. It's a very tiny uh, variable capacitor. All right. And it has integrated circuits. Okay. So my friends, the first thing to do is to arrange and group all these components into groups so that you will, it's easy for you to realize the, the things. We have divided everything into groups. We have the integrated circuit group, which starts with TA7642 and this is an EM radio. It's not a transistor. And this one is T is CD nine zero double eight CB it's a Chinese, but it's built in a Japanese integrated circuit SMD. This is an FM radio uh, circuit, and this is the uh, famous TDA two eight double two M. It is a audio power amplifier. We have four electrolytics. We have twelve resistors. We have twenty six disc caps and we have four gang variable capacitor with capacitance of 30 picofarads and something like 90 or something picofarads i'm not sure about that and we have a switch with a tab uh, we have battery components plus antenna we have flight root in addition to the rf coil then a holder for the for right root LED pointer for frequency in the level at 10 kilo ohms potentiometer two FMRF coils a earphone stereo jack and two knobs for tuning and volume and we have of course the uh, the screws in which we have divided into three groups this group is definitely for the cover for the cover to be installed one two three and four is here as you can see in addition to one screw maybe to hold the holder of the of the flight uh, root we have two from those uh, screws for uh, volume and tuning knobs so <clears throat> and we have one also to hold the antenna you see now after we group all these things it has become easy to us to know actually about these uh, components it's very easy now at least one step we move towards the goal that we want also, we have these four wires, which I'm not going to use at all. I'm going to use different wires, better than those wires. Those wires have a resistance, which is not actually 
desired in such radio and we have this and yes i forget this uh user manual and it's uh instruction manual it's in chinese unfortunately this is going to be a problem later on there is something if, oh yes yes there's something oh, oh no two things good very good yes the pcb what else nothing the pcb all right and the uh front panel sticker all right so the first thing we are going to do now is to stick this one Let's go. I hope it will stick there and will not fall down. Okay, that's good. All right then, and we have the speaker, but so the. I'm not going to use those wires. Very clear that the those two green are for the speaker. Now I'm going to use different wires. But first, let's install the 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 speaker. So I'm going to use those quality wires instead of the original chinese wires because they are low quality actually i'm going to use this kind of wires so high quality i already have uh, soldered them so first off this is the the speaker i'm going to want to put some wires in the speaker Let's put it in a good place. It is placed like this. I'm sorry, sometimes the camera is not moving as it should be. There is another ambiguous thing here. This wire here, this one, is seven turns, and this one is eight turns. Okay, it's clear a little bit that it is larger than this one. But unfortunately, there is something different in the BCB. And the BCB says that this coil is seven turns and there is five seven t5 what does that mean seven point five any seven and a half or what and if it is like that isn't it seems to be larger than this one this is the eight turns and when you count the turns here one two three four five six seven you find them seven uh, turns okay but when you count them here 
see they are not eight at all one two three four five one two three four five or six so now we are confused seven t five refers to what it's written in the circuit with it is l2 okay now l1 and l2 is e t5 you know the fmrf coils they are very sensitive any mistake affects the receiving very hard that's a problem because this is a chinese you can't understand how many turns each one that's a problem Allah, it's all in Chinese. Okay. Well, if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be the color coding of the African uh, resistor. This is the PCP. Those are the resistors. Okay. Capacitors. Okay. Also the capacitors. Also the capacitors. Up until here, those are the this thing here seems to be like an arrow heating up with the Chinese mean to be piece. So one piece, one piece, one piece. And here's just two pieces. So, we're not going to benefit much from this. Uh, but I'm glad that I have some knowledge in the radio receivers. So, hopefully that will help me on completing the, uh, the installation. The BCP, and now it's time for test. So, let's do it. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, Salam. And this is the FM as you can see. Barely can be heard. The FM is almost dead. Okay. Found out what was the problem with the uh, FM. Actually, there is a, a jumper wire between this side and this side. G. So I forget. So now, and that's by going back to the data sheet of the IC. So if you can see, it is from here to here. See? Just one second. Let's fix a wire jumper in between those two places. Okay, we we're able to correct the problem. Now, believe me, it is very, very, very complicated. Look at the effect of the LED, my friend, on the receiving. We need more uh, impedance for another. We have to change it. Because this one, it seems to me it has low impedance. You can see the effects right, right now. Okay. It has bad effect on the receiver. We have to change. We will use this green. It has little effect, better than this one, on the radio. So, for example, if we put the radio like this, that's good. We'll use this one. Okay, we're going to use this one. Okay, my friends. Here we are. We have corrected all the necessary corrections that were needed. We have connected the RF. EMRF cool to the maximum best way 
though it does not make any much difference when you change the wires but this is uh, better and i have installed a good jumper in the set places we have changed the led with the blue one this has a higher resistance so it's not affecting the receiving as the uh, red one is doing so we have also uh, set uh, fmrf coil to this way so that we can have uh, a correct frequency places it's possible now to be adjusted from here but before we do this it was very difficult the frequencies are messed up so we have done all these things now i am going to also cut these two things to be to make it suitable for installing